Hi, my name's Mandy and today I'm going to show you how to make a fur mask, in this case it's a wolf. I'm the filmmaker and I did a diploma in screen production and we had to make all our own props and things and so um, I wanted to make a wolf for my movie and so here it goes. This is my first tutorial of this kind so any uh, tips would be appreciated um, and I hope you like my mask. So first of all you'll need a balaclava with a piece of elastic that fits quite tightly around the top part of your forehead and you'll need to attach that to the balaclava. Secondly you'll need a piece of elastic that goes from round your chin to the back of your head and you need to attach that to the balaclava and to the first piece of elastic. This is so that when you move your chin, the bottom jaw of the wolf mask will move as well so that it looks like your wolf is talking or whatever you want. Next, draw out a plan of how you want the mask to look. Cut out the pieces, see I've got muscle and cheeks there, the jaw which I wanted to move. Cut out the pieces on a piece of paper so you can lay them over your foam to cut out the foam. So cut out your foam pieces that you've traced and make sure they all fit together. Then I've glued all those pieces of foam together and glued them to the balaclava um, with like a foam adhesive. I'm not really sure what it was but I know it was in like an aerosol can and it was really sticky so <laughs> I just used that. Next I cut a piece of foam out that would, was to be the nose um, and I've stuck it to the top of the mouth and to the balaclava leaving eye holes. Here's the front on view and in this picture I've also stuck on the jaws which go back around your ears on the balaclava. Here's the side view, this is once I've stuck on the eyebrows onto the balaclava. You can always uh, carve some more foam out of that when you need to. Here's the front on and I started shaving bits of foam away from the mouth and nose just to make it rounder and to um, look a, like a better shape, look a bit more like a wolf. As you can see I stuck on some extra pieces of foam onto the jawline. It's just so that the jaw wouldn't look so flat and um, so it looked actually a bit more like a wolf. Here I started to st stick on my faux fur that I bought. Um, so I started with the sides because they're the easiest to cover and then I can always just cover over the cracks with the top and bottom bits. This is where I stuck on uh, the top of the eyebrow and going over the top of the head and the nose. These bits were quite tricky actually you have to have a lot of patience um, and I just used spray adhesive for this. Here it is again you can see there are some clear eye holes there. You need to make sure you keep those clear for when you put in your plastic eyes. Here I started to cover the top part of the mouth which was really tricky and also trying to stick all the fur down firmly um, was tricky without getting it stuck everywhere. You have to be really careful with it. The next part I did was under the mouth and chin and a little bit of the neck Now I made some ears, I made these out of um, triangle pieces of foam and just kind of curved them inward a little bit so they would stick to the head and I covered those in fur also. As you can see it's not stuck on very well yet but I uh, actually sprayed that with adhesive glue and also sewed it onto the bell cover. Here's the other ear. This one was a bit trickier because I only had a thicker piece of foam um, so you really have to put extra glue on there and sew it on properly. Um, also you see that I made a nose out of uh, clay and baked that clay and painted it black. And I stuck that to the fur with a hot glue gun. So here's the mask pretty much finished before I put the eyes in give it a few days to dry just to make sure everything's done and sew pieces of fur to the bath fiber. Here's someone trying it out. I think that was me actually because everyone else was too scared to kind of put their head in there but um, I found that once I had it on 
I had to, from the inside, carve out some of the foam just to make it more comfortable to wear. Um, and yeah, you need really need to cut some out of the jaw as well so that you can breathe properly. <laughs> and this is when I put the eyes in. I just made them out of cardboard and the black part is actually just a piece of black stocking that I put over the pupil so that you can still see out of the eye. Here's the other side and I was really happy with the result. The green eye is just green marker pen that I've just drawn lines from the pupil out to the edge of the circle um, so they're really easy to make. Here's my finished mask that was in my movie called Morning Sky. Uh, go over to my YouTube channel and check out the making of my film and bloopers if you like. Um, so that's my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope um, some of you guys go out and try and make a mask. And I'd be interested to see photos or comments on how your mask went. Um, yeah, enjoy! <laughs>